So I'm here looking at some stuff here for a project here. Let's see this. Okay, this will be great. We're going to get into sampling now here uh, in YouTube. So I want to get you an idea of how uh, the sample section works. Now, if you want to get more lessons on how to use your machine, whether it's a machine micro, machine, or machine studio, we have full DVDs on that. And in this lesson plan, we also have operating systems. So you can have both, you know. You want to see how the OS works and then how the device works with OS. And if you want to get them, just go to samplekings.com. Go to our website. You can scroll through there and you can find whatever you want in the first page. We've made it easy for you to run through and pick out what you want to get. And, of course, we have a help desk. You can contact us whenever you'd like to and we'll take care of you. Because we know our DVDs are thorough. Now, to talk more about sampling, get used to sampling. We need to understand some concepts here. For example, here I'm in plucked lead. And we see this thing called massive here in our control section here, right? And then here, massive represents this sound, or this sound, or this Euro angel sound. You notice it says massive. And in the Euro angel, we actually see the filter right here. And we also see a maximizer right here. So effects are on this sound. But it's not a sample. Let's go now to this disco kit. These are samples. Now, the sample is selected here, and you can see these sample waveforms right here. This is a region for a sample. And I can hit right there, and we hear the sound. I'll go here. You'll hear a difference. The difference is this sound is coming through the master section here. It has its own setting, whether it's going to be pitch or the filter, or the modulator. Low frequency oscillation, whatever happens here, affects that sound. But here, when I hit this play button for the Combo Disco 2, it plays the pure sample that we have, without any effects or anything on it. And this is an edit of samples. So these sounds here are samples. And you can see them, and we can change them actually. We can change the length. Let's say for example, here's an S. I can drag this S out and cut off the front and play it back. And pull it back to the top again. We hear more of it. Let's cut this end off. And we've got a really short sample. And you can hear that. So we can edit these samples right in here. These are sounds that are not inside some sort of keyboard, but sounds that are actually sample sounds, obviously. So as I hit these sounds, we see these waveforms. And let's go to Slice. Here in Slice, we can see that they're set up in four different regions. And you'll see here at the bottom it says slice is four. So when we go to slice, you see the bottom here, we have a time, we have the mode, which is split. We can have grid, detect, or manual. But here in this case, we have slice, and it's a split into four slices. And it's split based on the BPM that says auto. So it figures out how many slices it would take for this one sample according to this BPM. And the adjustment is 117, 117 BPMs. So this is the slice mode. Now I get used to this screen also. We're going to do a lot with this screen with machine. So here at the other end, on the right hand side, we see the length of the sample right here. These two little circles here represent stereo. These are two samples left and the right side, not just one sample. So it's a stereo sample. We see the timeline here. It goes from zero here, 0 0.05, 0 0.10, 0 0.15, 20, 25, all the way down to here to 50, right? It's our timeline for our sample. Now the next section is the zone. A zone means the sample is in a certain area. Now, I can also add samples to a sample here. Let's click on this, and now it's just a sample. We just see the sample right here as a sample, and still we can have zones to this sample. Now, in order for us to work with this sampler a little better, I want to get you a stronger idea of how to work with it. We're going to sample into it. 